Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera everyone. I'm Cikgu Zana. Thank you for joining today's lesson. In this video, we will learn about the definite integral and it will be used in application of integration. So stay tuned up till the end. I hope that this video will be beneficial in helping all the students out there in scoring A's in your exam. Okay, let's begin. What is a definite integral? For a continuous function f of x in the closed interval a, b, the definite integral of f of x from x equal a to x equal b can be written as where a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit. If the indefinite integral of the function f of x is big f of x plus c, then the definite integral of the function f of x from x equal a to x equal b is obtained by substituting the value of the upper limit x equal b and the lower limit x equal a into the function big f of x. Thus, the value of the definite integral of the function f of x is given as big f b minus big f a. Observe that the values of the constant of integration c cancel out one another. Thus, it is called a definite integral since the integral gives a definite value. Here are some common properties of definite integrals which can be used to evaluate the definite integrals easily. For the value of a which is less than the value of b, when the lower limits and the upper limits are the same, then the integral is 0. When the upper limits and the lower limits are interchanged, the values of the integral becomes negative. The constant n of the integral can be taken out. And for values of a which is less than c and c less than b, then the integral of f of x from x a to x c plus the integral of f of x from x c to b can be simplified as the integral of f of x from x a to x b. Let's look at the first example. Evaluating the definite integral of the composite function 3x minus 1 to the power of 3 from x equal 2 to x equal 4. The integral of the function is using the integration rule of composite function. Substituting the values of the upper limit 4 into the expression Substituting the lower limit's value 2 into the expression. Evaluating the integral value is 1168. Example 2. Evaluating the integral of the function x multiplied by 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 3 from x equals 0 to x equal 1. We rewrite the function as 1 over 6, the integral of 6x, multiplied by 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 3. 6x is the derivative of 3x squared plus 2. Since we are going to apply the integration rule for function in the form 
f prime x f of x to the power of n thus integrating we have the expression substituting the upper limits and the lower limits the integral value is 203 over 8 example 3 evaluating a rational function 2 over 8 minus 3x from x equals 0 to x equal 2 again we rewrite the function as negative 2 over 3 the integral of negative 3 over 8 minus 3x from x equals 0 to x equals 2 since we are going to apply the integration rule for the function in the form f prime x over f of x is ln f of x plus c so since negative 3 is the derivative of 8 minus 3x so the integral of the function is negative 2 over 3 ln modulus 8 minus 3x from x equals 0 to x equal 2 substituting the values of the limits we have negative 2 over 3 ln 2 minus ln 8 ln 2 is obtained from ln 8 minus 6 ln 8 is obtained from ln 8 minus 0 simplifying we have 2 over 3 ln 8 minus ln 2 and applying the logarithmic law ln 8 minus ln 2 is ln 4 thus the value of the integral is 2 over 3 ln 2 4. Example 4 Evaluating the definite integral of the function 4x plus 7 multiplied by the function e to the power of 2x squared plus 7x from x equal negative 1 to x equal 0. Observe that the function 4x plus 7 is the derivative of 2x squared plus 7x. Thus, the integral of the function is e to the power of 2x squared plus 7x. Since the rules of integration for the function in the form derivative of f of x multiplied by e to the power of f of x is e to the power of f of x plus c. Substituting the value of the upper limits and the lower limits, we have 1 which is obtained from e to the power of 0 minus e to the power of a negative 5. Thus, the value of the integral is 1 minus 1 over e to the power of 5. In example 5, we are required to show that the definite integral of the rational function 3x minus 4 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 from x equal 1 to x equal 5 is ln 49 over 27. Now, we are going to use the technique of integration, which is decompose into partial fraction. Since the rational function has denominator consists of two linear factors, thus the partial fraction is of the form a over 2x minus 1 plus b over x plus 2 multiplying both sides by 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 we have 3x minus 4 equivalent to 
a times x plus 2 plus b times 2x minus 1. Substituting x equal half, we have a equals negative 1. Substituting x equal negative 2, we have b equals 2. Thus, the rational function is of the form 2 over x plus 2 minus 1 over 2x minus 1. Before integrating the partial fraction, we have to rewrite the function such that the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of x plus 2 is 1, while the derivative of 2x minus 1 is 2. Thus, the function is written as 2 the integral of 1 over x plus 2 minus half the integral of 2 over 2x minus 1. Applying the following rules of integration, we have 2 ln x plus 2 minus half ln 2x minus 1 from x equal 1 to x equal 5. Substituting the upper limit x equal 5 and lower limit x equal 1, we have 2 ln 7 minus half ln 9 minus 2 ln 3 minus half ln 1. Now, the value of ln 1 is 0. Thus, we have ln 49 which is obtained from 2 ln 7 which is ln 7 squared minus ln 3 which is obtained from half ln 9 which is ln 9 to the power of half minus 2 ln 3. Simplifying further, we have ln 49 minus 3 ln 3. Now, 3 ln 3 is ln 27. Applying the laws of logarithm of quotient, we have ln 49 over 27. We must conclude our answer since the question asks us to show. So, the integral of the rational function 3x minus 4 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 from x equal 1 to x equal 5 is ln 49 over 27. In example 6, to evaluate the definite integral, we are going to use the technique of integration using substitution. Substitute 2x for 5 plus 1 as u to the power of 2. Differentiate u with respect to x. We have 2u du over dx equal 10x to the power of 4. Thus, dx is 1 over 5x to the power of 4 times u du. When using the substitution method, do not forget to change the limits of integration in terms of u. When x equal 1, substitute x equal 1, we have 2 times 1 plus 1 which is 3, u is 3. When x equal 2, substitute x equal 2, we have 2 to the power of 5 times 2 plus 1 which is 65, thus u is 65. Substitute in terms of u into the original integral. So we have square root 2x to 5 plus 1 is u. x equal 1 becomes u equals 3. x equal 2 becomes u equals 65 dx 
is 1 over 5x to the power of 4 u du. Simplifying, x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 4 is 1. We have 1 over 5, the integral of u squared du from u set 3 to u set 65. The integral of u to the power of 2 is u to the power of 3 divided by 3. Taking out the constant 1 over 3, we have 1 over 15 u to the power of 3 from u equals 3 to u equals 65. Substituting the upper limits, we have 65 set 65 minus substituting the lower limit, we have 3 set 3. Now, set 65 to the power of 3 is 65 over set 65 and set 3 to the power of 3 is 3 set 3. In this example, we are required to use the integration by parts to evaluate the given definite integral. Do you still remember the integration by parts formula? So let u be x. Differentiating du dx is 1. Let dv dx be e to the power of 2 minus x. Integrating, we have v equals negative e to the power of 2 minus x. Substituting into the formula, we have u multiplied by v minus the integral of v multiplied by du dx. Now, the integral of the function negative e to the power of 2 minus x is e to the power of 2 minus x. Substituting the upper limits and the lower limits. Simplifying, the value of the integral is e squared minus 4 over e. Summary for today's lesson. First, we must understand what is a definite integral. The integral is called a definite integral because it gives us a definite value fp minus fa. The following table shows the rules of integration for composite functions which are important to help students to evaluate the definite integrals correctly. This is the integral of the function of the form ax plus b to the power of n, the integral of the function of the form f prime x times f of x to the power of n, integral of the function of the form 1 over ax plus b, Integral of the function of the form f prime x over f of x. Integral of the function e to the power of ax. And lastly, the integral of the function f prime x times e to the power of f of x. Students must also be able to apply the techniques of integration as sometimes these techniques will be used in evaluating the definite integral. We have the technique by means of partial fractions, by means of substitution, and by parts. Given here are the links to my video lesson on these three techniques to help you understand better. That's about all, so I end this lesson with the saying, practice makes perfect.
please do visit my channel for more video lesson. Till then, bye for now and see you again in my next video.